Nola Penter's health promotion model. Smoking cessation. To understand it better, let's take a peek into my day and meet Sarah. I am a community nurse and I meet a lot of people during the day. I also visit many houses within the community to ensure that everyone is fine. Today we will visit Sarah. She is the 20th week of her pregnancy. Everyone wants a happy family, however not everyone has it. Sarah lives alone is single and is having difficult time in her life. Last time Sarah told me that she does not have any major family support. However, her mother is nice to her and has offered help whenever needed. She had a bad divorce, her husband was abusive and she went through a lot before getting to this decision. She was depressed and cried all the time. All she had was negativity. To relieve her stress she started smoking. She smokes 5 to 6 cigarettes per day. Hi Sarah, so good to see you. So Sarah, how are you doing? Is everything fine with you? I am fine, everything is fine. Few bumps here and there. Sarah I think it would be better if you visited the hospital so we can carry out some milestones tests. Oh okay sure. I think she has not been able to quit smoking as we discussed earlier. From my past experience I can say that Sarah might not be able to quit so easily. I might have to try some visual promotions. Our past experiences teach us that every person is different and need to be dealt differently. We need to study their background and then make a plan so that it is effective and we are able to help the patient. Well let's get to planning. We better hurry up she is coming in tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Wow, thank you. So the plan is we convince her to 1. Sign up for our smoking cessation camp which happens every Wednesday morning. 2. For prenatal classes which will help her stay healthy. 3. Prenatal classes will also help her understand why smoking is not good for her and her fetus. 4. We might also have to sign her up for group therapy which will help her with her depression. We can take more history to know why she is experiencing depression. 5. Let's give her some take-home material which she can refer to on how to quit. 6. It also has information on whom to contact if she has trouble and breakthrough. 8. Let's help her meet up with a community priest who can help her spiritually. 9. Let's also try and get some family support for her. It seems she we have a plan, see you tomorrow guys. Wow, an incredible morning guys. I'm so excited to put our plan in action. Let's just hope that everything works out well. Well, after yesterday's plans that we created together I was thinking over it again. I was thinking about how is she going to react to our talks. 
I think that her thought will be dependent upon the fact that she would not want us to control what she does. She definitely love her baby so she might want to make things good for her. She might want to control her environment and protect her dignity and privacy. Our best way to get her through is to convince her and make her agree rather than forcing her to do something. Well then let's get gone guys. Well here we are. Is everyone excited to get going? Let's use our experiences to get through. Hi Sarah, how are you? It is so good to see you today. Oh Mrs. Connor, it is so good you could accompany her today. It is nice to see you as well. Let's get you started on the paperwork and doctor will see you in some time. Meanwhile you can wait in the lounge and relax. Sure let's do that. Thank you so much. You can wait here meanwhile Sarah I would like to talk to you about something that was concerning me do you want to talk here with your mom present or would like to talk in a private room? Well Sarah it seems you are still smoking. Can you tell me were the ideas we discussed last time ahead of evaluation able to help you? Well it's all right you can talk here, my mom knows all about me. I know Anne, we talked about quitting but I was not able to endure the pressure this pregnancy has laid on me and lately the situation of my life is also kind of depressing. It has been very difficult divorce, leaving Alan and then I have difficulties with my job as well. I totally understand Sarah and I am all here to help you out, if you want me to. Yes that would be a fantastic idea. Right Sarah wouldn't it be nice honey? Well then would you like to accompany me to our community hall? There we can find all the things that will help us get through the things. Talking about cessation, Sarah I think the best part is that you are positively trying to walk away from it. Also upon closely observing Sarah we found out that she has a lot of self-respect and like to do things her way. She is determined to quitting but has some weak spots. She knows what she wants but there are some gray areas that make her give up every time she tries. Also upon closely observing Sarah we found out that she has a lot of self-respect and like to do things her way. She is determined to quitting but has some weak spots. She knows what she wants but there are some gray areas that make her give up every time she tries. We know that her mom supports her and she has developed a very good relationship with her. From the history we collected we know her mom is the only person who supports her. We can take her help understand the situation more. We also know that her past experience has left effects like PTSD on her. She is insecure that her life will turn out the same way as their parents. This was also aggravated because of her abusive marriage. She thinks that her life will take a bad turn every time she has difficulty and hence goes back to her stress relief of smoking. It is also clear that she gets depressed very easily due to the difficulties. She is having hard time coping up with the difficult situation. Due to her past experience she is having issues in present. She has developed a panicky approach to these type of situations which pulls her back to where she wants to get out of. She demonstrates a strong will about quitting smoking. She has amazing plans for future. She is determined to give her kid a stable life. Wants to be able to give her child a stable life. She wants to raise herself to the place where she can be trusted and her family can depend on her. She wants to be strng and be able to fight back the temptons. Now that we know all this we understand that Sarah might need something extra rather than only her willpower. She might need some outer support which can help her get through. So, once again let's go and talk to Sarah. Sarah there are few tips and ideas which can help you get through it. I would like to ask you have you noticed the banner on the smoking cessation camp in the hallway? Oh yeah I did see it but didn't read it in detail. Well no problem. Here is the brochure of same camp. There will be many beneficial activities over there and I am sure you will love it. You will find that they carry out various techniques and according to your convenience you have to choose what suits you the best. For other support I would suggest that you can join our prenatal community classes. This will help you understand that how to care for the baby in your womb. It will help you understand what is best for the baby and what is not good for its health. It will help you make a great peer group as you will meet new people. They will help you do exercises that will help you prepare for the labor. They will also teach basic techniques for better care for the child. I would also suggest you to register for a group therapy sessions. There you will meet people who have been fighting depression and have risen up from the similar situation as yours. They will help you fight better and will also share their different ways of fighting with depression. Mrs. Connery would also like suggest your support and guidance would mean a lot as well. 
more of your involvement and love can help you cope with the situation. As family support is the best thing for Sarah. In the lounge you will find all the leaflets which will give you information on all these peer support and family support groups. Do you have any questions for me Sarah? No I think I am confident enough to try what and everything you have suggested. I just hope that with all this I am able to cope with the situation. I really want to be a better mother for my baby. Of course Sarah we all together will make it work. Wouldn't we guys? Well then Sarah, I will visit you in few days and we will catch up on how things are working for you. We better get going. It is time for your physician consultation. That was a good talk guys. We worked on the theory, we had our assumptions and we managed to find out the causes and interventions of the situation. I think we sold give her some time now to work on herself. Fingers crossed everyone. Hi there, what a wonderful morning everyone. Let's go meet Sarah. I hope she is doing very well. Well Sarah how are you doing? I heard you registered in prenatal classes and smoking cessation camp last month. How is it going? Oh it is going great. I'm able to control my urge to smoke and feel good and positive. I try to stay calm when it gets difficult so that I don't go back to my old habits. Well that seems nice. Did you try anything else? Oh yeah, I also signed up for the, the group therapy and go for regular meets in the group therapy. I like it there. People share what they have been through and how they fought and overcame their depression. I have shared my feelings few times too. I am feeling a bit relieved after joining the group. That is great. I am so glad that you are making progress. Mrs. Connor it is so good you were able to be with her in this difficult time. I believe at his rate things will get resolved very soon. Sarah do you have any difficulties with your pregnancy? No I think I am good for now and if I do have any difficulties I know where to reach. I just want to say thank you to you because I think I wouldn't be able to trust any of these therapies if you wouldn't have shown me the evidence. Sure anytime Sarah. So do you see how proper planning using the health promotion model can help us get through difficult times? Sarah's feedback clearly suggests us that in today's time where there is awareness and people have easy access to evidences, formulating patient support and care according to the present trends and patient thought process gives us more chance of getting success. With this scenario we clearly understand that health promotional model helps us a lot in planning the exact way of helping out the patients. The outcomes are as we wished for and precised. To understand it better let's take a brief look at the flowchart of the theory. The health promotion model is based on social cognitive theory according to which cognitive perceptual factors, perceived benefits, barriers, and self-efficacy, influence engagement in health promoting behaviors. The goal of the health promotion model is to stimulate a behavioral change that results in a positive health outcome. Major concepts in Pender's health promotion model include, the person, their environment, health, and nursing, butts and rich. 2018, p. 447. The person is the central focus of the model. So Nola Pender's health promotional model was released in 1982 and then due to changing environment it was updated in 1996. The model is based on the following assumptions. People try to create conditions of living through which they can express their unique human potential. People have the capacity for reflective self-awareness, including assessment of their own competencies. People value positive growth, and strive to find a balance between stability and change. People seek to actively regulate their own behavior. People interact with their environment, transforming it and themselves over time. Nurses and other health professionals make up a part of the interpersonal environment, which exerts influence on people throughout their lifespan. Self-initiated reconfiguration of the interactive patterns between people and their environments is necessary for a change in behavior. He model is based on the following theoretical propositions. Behavior and characteristics influence beliefs, effect, and enactment of health-promoting behavior. People commit to engaging in behaviors from which they anticipate deriving personally valued benefits. Barriers can constrain commitment to action. Competence to execute a given behavior increases the likelihood of commitment to action and actual performance of the behavior. 
greater perceived self-efficacy results and fewer barriers to a specific health behavior. Positive effect toward a behavior results in greater perceived self-efficacy. When positive emotions are associated with a behavior, the probability of commitment and action is increased. People are more likely to commit to health-promoting behaviors when others model the behavior, expect it to occur, and provide support to enable it. Families, peers, and healthcare providers are important sources of interpersonal influence that can increase or decrease commitment to health-promoting behavior. Situational influences in the external environment can increase or decrease commitment to or participation in health-promoting behavior. The greater the commitment to a specific plan of action, the more likely health-promoting behaviors are to be maintained over time. Commitment to a plan of action is less likely to result in the desired behavior when competing demands over which persons have little control require immediate attention. Commitment to a plan of action is less likely to result in the desired behavior when other actions are more attractive and thus preferred over the target behavior. People can modify cognitions, affect, interpersonal influences, and situational influences to create incentives for health-promoting behavior. To simplify we can present it in a chart form. So we can see that the whole theory is summarized here. Upon understanding the theory we can see that fits into each era. It basically tells us to understand the people and act accordingly. It has fixed standards that are modified according to the people around. An individual's personal experience, his interpretation of the event and behavior changes and the effect it has on his future behavior are the pillars of this theory. Hence the theory is well equipped to change itself with the changing environment.